Welcome back to Singapore Tonight. Thank you for staying with us. We're just a day away from the new year, and for many of us, well, it's time for making resolutions. Have you made any, Brenda? I did, actually. I've made um, a resolution to spend less. Yeah, I, I want to read more. We'll see how that one goes. <laughs> but you know that research shows that only as little as 8% of us actually manage to keep them. And here to share with us the psychology behind making our re resolutions for the new year, we have a family counseling psychologist, Adrian Lim Peng An. Adrian, thank you very much for joining us. So, no okay, what exactly compels us to make these resolutions? I think um, it can be small ones, it can be huge ones, you know. The idea is to be purposeful and intentional. Because if it's a small one, like um, someone's sharing about, I want to cook more for my family, you know, you need to actually make it real, you know. Not every day, no way you can, it's unrealistic. Mm. You have to be actually uh, real, realistic, which means like you do it maybe twice a week. It's more realistic than seven days or five days a week, you mm -hmm. know. So intentionality is there, support is there. Right, so that, that's why we want, and it's something we want to challenge ourselves. Mm. Yeah, it's a what is a, in psychology we call it a new start. Yes. right, a new start to the new year. Yeah. we want to have a fresh start to go at it. Let give it one more shot to do it, right? Yeah. So we, we start off with good intentions, yes. but many of us, you know, sort of fall off off the wagon mm. very quickly. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I mean. To your point about it being realistic and manageable, mm. is that why we're just unrealistic about what we, Perhaps what we because, want? Perhaps um, because to actually do it well, you, you need to be, um, to really help to understand the why. Mm. You have what I call the how to power up your why. Why are you doing it? You know, what is, is in it? If it's just in it for myself, it's not as powerful as I'm also doing it for others. Right? If it's other-centered, you really power up your why. You're not doing it for your own selfish, yeah, self-centered reasons. Mm -hmm. You're doing it for the benefit of others. Right. Right? Yeah. So that, that is another, the power up your why. Uh. I like oh. to use the word. <laughs> okay. But then, you know, that's it. there are some people who are actually very successful in their um, New Year's resolution. So what sets them apart from those that, you know, actually fail? Okay. Here comes, I need the notes here. <laughs> Again, to, you need to power your why, number one. You have to start one first and start small, right? Be specific, be realistic. I like to do it, buddy up, gang up, and group up. You need the support right. of others, right? If you have a, a, a good friend or a bud group up together, we can actually help each other, remind each other, encourage each other, cho-cho each other, you know? Mm. And, it, and really do it together. Right. It's more powerful. It's like, it's like a kampong, a village kind of thing to go do it together. The mm. purpose, it becomes more fortified and much more powerful. Yeah. So are you saying that the way that we typically sort of set about our resolutions is not that way? That, you know, yeah. if we take a step back and look at it, yeah. the way we set it up is we're starting from the wrong angle. Perhaps, because I, I use me for example, right? Um, this whole year... I was a waiting year for me. I, 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 I'm re looking at what to do, what to do. And throughout this year was a lot of formation. I was formation, training, going for lots of training. There's, there's programs like the MOI, right? It's called Man of Impact. It's actually to find out what's my purpose, right? I came up with my personal mission statement. Mm. That, again, really power up my why. Right. The what and the why. So is that right? how we set our resolutions? Perhaps if you're really serious, you need to really dig in. You know, your foundation has to be strong. To any building, you have to be strong. Mm. If you're just having a flimsy kind of, oh, I want to lose weight, I want to do this, I want to run more, I want to... It will may likely fizzle out, mm. right? Yeah. And, it's, it's, and why I want to, to help uh, power up my, my formation is to actually... My mission is to reach out to families. Right? Reach out to men to help them to be better husbands, better fathers. So it becomes much more, it's bigger than me. Mm. It's, it's more than, than just, uh, I, it's for my benefit. It's, it's to benefit me and as well as, as a man and also to others. Yeah. And it becomes much more uh, benevolent, but more importantly, it benefits others.
Right, so we yeah. have to start framing up our mission statement <laughs> and powering up our why, everybody. I will remind you to yes. read more <laughs> okay. and you will tell me not to spend so much. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you. Um, Adrian. We've been speaking there with counseling psychologist Adrian Limping on.